Hey everyone, Lord Josh here. Just a brief but very important video. 2020 has been a crazy year so far. Lots of unexpected things occurring. Well, here's another one that has totally shocked and surprised me, but in a good way. I never expected to see that publisher Pico Interactive has secured the rights to ODT Escape or Die Trying and to the uh, N64 version of the game as well, the previously unreleased version. Of course, it was leaked online sometime later, but it was never officially released. My first reaction to reading this was, holy shit, we actually may have a glimmer of hope for future ODT releases. I feel like we should have that victory trumpet play a tune for us at the end of the game. At last, victorious and free. Thank you, Captain. I mean, this news is by far the most exciting news for the ODT community in years. I can't remember the last time something like this occurred. I'm optimistic and hopeful that a remaster may be in the works in the future. We live in an age right now where remasters and remakes are plentiful, but it's been over 20 years since we've had any ODT news. I'm so happy that Pico is showing an interest in the game and its characters and universe, but I hope they show enough respect to the original masterpiece. Several gaming uh, news media outlets have reported there's an article on uh, NintendoLife.com and on the official Twitter page as well. You can see it's not a rumor, it's not a lie. The rights to ODT have been bought. I am extremely excited. For those who may not know, I run a few ODT fan sites on Facebook, a group and a fan page. And one of the most debated topics since the very beginning of those sites has always been who owns the copyright? Because you may know the backstory. Cygnosis France was taken over by Infogrames, and when they took over, they also took the rights to ODT and other titles from the studio. Infogrames then became Atari, and then, from what I can recall, Atari went bankrupt. So for a long time, fans weren't sure who actually owned the rights, and if anything was ever going to happen. Now we know. It's too early to say for sure, but I feel like this is a step in the right direction, and I'm really looking forward to the future. At last, ODT fans can actually say, we have something to look forward to now, and I'm sure the original Cygnosis ODT team are loving this news as well. We have a lot of the team in my fan groups on Facebook. I'm going to be covering everything. I'm going to be all over this, all the news and all the updates. So thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll have more for you soon. Take care.